Gunnery Sergeant John Bastillon, also known as one of the most badass Marines in history. If you were to look in the dictionary, you'd probably see a picture of his face, but I digress. He was born in Buffalo, New York on November 4th, 1916, and was the sixth of 10 children. At 18, Bastillon enlisted in the Army and did a short tour in the Philippines. He was given the nickname Manila John, named after the capital of the Philippines. Bastillon was discharged from the Army in 1937. In 1940, Bastillon enlisted in the Marine Corps because he felt it was his best shot to get back to the Philippines. Well, he got sent to Guantanamo Bay instead. Semper Gumby, right? He did get his chance to go back to the Pacific when he fought in the Guadalcanal Campaign with the 7th Marine Regiment. During the Second Battle of Henderson Field, Bastillon directed his men's fire, repaired a machine gun mostly by the feel of his hands because of low lighting, and according to his Medal of Honor citation, his efforts contributed in large measure to the virtual annihilation of a Japanese regiment. That's about 3,000 enemy soldiers. After receiving his Medal of Honor, Bastillon was sent back home to go on a war bond tour. By backing the attack and buying these war bonds. But all he wanted was to be back in the fight with his men. After being denied a few times, John Bastillon finally got his chance when he was assigned to the 5th Marine Division for the invasion of Iwo Jima. While there, he received a Navy Cross for single-handedly destroying an entire hostile strongpoint and its defending garrisons with grenades and demolition. Bastillon became the only enlisted Marine during World War II to receive both the Medal of Honor and the Navy Cross. He gallantly gave his life for his country and was killed in action by enemy mortar fire February 19, 1945. Oorah!